All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the bobble stitch. And so to do the bobble stitch, um, you're going to knit in the front and yarn over and knit it back into that same stitch. And then um, normally you would just turn your work and purl those three stitches, but I'm gonna show you how to um, purl it backwards so that you don't have to turn your work back and forth so many times. Um, and I designed this bobble specifically so that it's easy to do this with, um, so that you're purling. So you would purl three, so it says in the pattern, it says to turn your work and purl three, but you don't have to do that. You can just work backwards. So your yarn is still to the back of your work because if, again, if I turn it around, your yarn is to the front when you're purling. And when you're purling, your needle also goes in this direction. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I go into the stitch um, kind of when you're working backwards, it's like you're going into the back loop. And then wrap your yarn around one, and then into the stitch, wrap your yarn around and bring it through two, into the stitch, wrap your yarn around, that's purling three. And now for the bobble, it says in the pattern to turn your work and then purl. Split the yarn a little bit there. Um, and then purl one, yarn over, purl one, yarn over, purl one. Now again, it says to turn your work. So uh, here you could turn it and purl these five, or you can work it backwards um, by going into the back loop, wrap around, bring it through. Two, three, four, five, and then bring your yarn back to the front to purl the last five. And then you just go on with your knitting, and when you come back, um, so purl those five, and you'll have like five extra stitches here. But when you come back, you're gonna knit those stitches together. Um, so then you just go on with your knitting and then you don't worry about them until you go back. Okay, then when you come back to that, um, to those five stitches that are the bobble, um, the pattern says to just knit all five together. So, like so. Um, if that is just a little too hard to do and you find it too annoying, um, you can do like either knit two together and then knit three together. Oops. I guess I found it easier to just knit all five together, but you can knit two together, knit five together, and then take this stitch over. And that's basically the same thing. Um, and then when you get back to the other side, you'll want to kind of pull your bobble forward, pull your bobble out to make it look nice. And then your bobbles should stand out and look like this. Thanks for watching.